Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. They range from building multi-person pogo sticks to hacking chocolate. Any topic the geeks hold dear. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides at auto advance every 15 seconds. Hello, everybody. So I'm going to be talking about my nonprofit organization that I started a little while ago. I am a software professional and I'm extremely passionate about Indian classical music. So let's see uh, what we have here. All right, so I started my music organization named Swarganga in 2004. It's a nonprofit organization to promote Indian classical music and specifically young and upcoming people. We have two registered offices, one in Atlanta, Georgia, and another one in India. All right, so what's special about us? Uh, it is the first ever effort to promote young and upcoming artists in this field. We are the largest website on Indian classical music on the entire internet, and it's a unique website that educates the newbies and enhances the knowledge of the knowledgeables. Well, what's the need for such an organization? So North Indian classical music has been around for thousands of years. It's a fading art because it's not so popular among the younger generation. They are more towards the pop music. And it's very difficult to understand. Information has been passed on for generations verbally, and it exists in Indian books, but it's all in Indian languages. And you know how many Indian languages are there? I mean, I don't even know how many. So, I mean, uh, books are no longer manufactured because publishers have went out of business. Uh, and books that are still available are available in remote places in India, so you've got to go and physically look them up. It's difficult to find what you're looking for, basically, and there is nobody to go and ask. So what we did here is basically we found out what is missing. You know, what, what do we need to do? We looked uh, and we, are, we asked people what they're looking for, and we used uh, my technological skills to solve some of the problems that are there today. All right, we scavenged hundreds of books, picked the brains of people, uh, spent hundreds of hours coming up with the right content, coming up with a good design and a website, and we finally did it. So we brought all the information in, in terms of relational databases. We did a good job in presenting the data in a very unique way. We made the navigation easy. We made it searchable. And we made all the databases interlinked so that you can go from one point to another and easily flow through the website. We have all the basic concepts explained, so I'm pretty sure that most of the audience in this room would not know what Indian classical music is. So you could go there and look it up. We have articles for those who already know, like me. I learn something new every day from my own website. We have uh, music festivals that we organize in India and in Atlanta where we educate people. And we have everything on the internet. So we take our music festivals, we put everything on the internet where people can go and relive that moment later. All right, speed is the key. We all know that uh, living in today's world. So we made a very lightweight website using technologies like PHP, Ajax, and jQuery. We, have, we focus on fast load times. And if you have a broadband connection, you know, we are not going to let you lose. You have streaming content. All our databases are open. It's a community-based effort. We have automatic conversion from English to Indian languages, so they type in English, and it's literal translation in Indian uh, scripts, not only phonetically, but even the meanings are the same. So we, st uh, we get a lot of feedback from people, and we like to listen to them, obviously. So we started a music school here, here in Atlanta, and we also have a virtual school where people can take music lessons online. We have music assets where we, are, we have our own app store, you may say, where people can buy music assets and learn on their own. We, have a, we are launching an online radio where you can go and listen to Indian classical music, which will be launched this month. We have a library of music. I went in and bought a whole bunch of books that are no longer manufactured and you know, had a difficult time finding it and constructed a library out of it. All of the concerts that we organized, as I said, are online. You can find everything online. I mean, anything that you want to know about Indian classical music, it's on our website. We have presence on all the social networking sites. Now, how are we doing? Uh, we have over 2 million hits every year. We have viewership in 144 countries. And after I put together this slide, Google Analytics told me that we have 146 countries now. So uh, average time spent is over five minutes, which I think in today's world is great. People don't have so much time to sit there and read about the content. And what are we lacking? Well, we are lacking certain things, like, for example, optimizing for the mobile web. Uh, we have done some good job about uh, search engine optimization, but I feel that we can do better. And we need volunteers to keep up with our demand. We have thousands of emails coming uh, for requests, and we need more volunteers. So how can you help us? Spread the word, 
link back and promote and be a part of us. We are a nonprofit organization and we are trying to do some good work all over the world so you can be a part of us. Question, comments, concerns, that's my email address right there. That's our website. Uh, please you know, reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you.